any community conversation has to have good communication with people at its heart. This involves communicating clearly with the people, the organisations and the communities involved. Before your communication takes place, in invitations which specify the details of what you're trying to do and its purpose, and that tells people why they should take part. And afterwards, to tell people what you have learned from what they have told you. And the actions you plan to take as a result. So you should think about the best ways to communicate with your community during the conversation. Do you use social media to contact people directly if that's what they use? Perhaps using text messages or WhatsApp might be better. Old fashioned approaches like newsletters, whether they're online or paper copies, can be very effective. Posters in the local area which would need to be in the appropriate community languages in some cases. Or at events and activities that you run, when you can tell people about up and coming opportunities to give their views. By word of mouth, asking people to tell their friends. And by producing a written report or summary of the conversation that you can share with people after the event. You will need to think through how best to use the information that people give you. This will involve taking detailed notes of what people say and telling them how you plan to use them. It will involve analysing all of the information that you collect into themes that make sense and can be communicated to people. You can use quotes from people, although you should use these anonymously. They can bring a story alive of people's experience. And then produce a report of what people told you. It needn't be long, but it should get the main points across to people who didn't take part in the conversation. You can use this for planning further work or for funding bids to prove what matters to people in your community. And you can share the report to gather support for your work. A good report on a community conversation doesn't have to be long, but it's important that it covers some of the following things. What was the purpose? What was it that you wanted to find out by talking to the community? How many people gave their views? And what methods did you use to gather these views? Whether that was interviews, a questionnaire or group discussions. What they told you the themes that came out and the common issues they experienced. Sometimes you can express these in terms of percentages and the numbers of people who experience a particular thing and bring it alive with quotes from them. The decisions and actions you take as a result of the conversation are very important to include. And you can use photos, flip charts or quotes to make the report come to life for the reader. 